Thanks for coming back to watch the next video, the number seven on my 2018 acrylic painting series based on the 1932 dystopian science fiction novel, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. I am the artist Ian Young. This is video number seven regarding painting number seven, tour of the civilization the explanation of Bokanovsky's process and the cloning of the twins. Bernard takes the new celebrity John, now dubbed the Savage, on a tour of civilization. The camera crews follow them around, but not John's mother, Linda, who wrinkled physically on the reservation without anti-aging drugs, lost her teeth, became out of shape, and doesn't make very good media fodder. John, on the other hand, is tall, dashing, peculiar in a non-threatening manner, and somewhat charismatic, despite his idiosyncrasies. The general audience loves him, girls throughout London lust after him, and the start of the tour makes great television for members of all case to enjoy, post-edited. Most of the second half of the documentary has to be cut, though, as the savage grows less and less pleased with present-day scientific advancements and more and more morally distraught over their application. The case system bothers him, as does central hatcheries, the high holy orgy ceremonies, the lack of art or romance or hunting for survival, and the synthetic foods. But it's the complete control over the reproductive rights of human beings and that's handed over to the government to decide who gets born and what they're born as that really frightens John and I think really frightens most people about this book. The Alphas explain Bokodovsky's cloning process to John, how gammas and deltas and epsilon zygotes are cloned multiple times so that all the janitors look the same, all the fast food workers look the same, all the call reps, first level call reps look the same, and um, it's easier for the higher case to recognize them at their respective fields for their convenience. John is also sickened by the nature nausea reinforcement uh, sessions where toddlers of the lower case are made physically sick on purpose around natural stimuli to discourage them from nature. Um, never want, so they'll never want to visit parks or national monuments or anything outside of the factories um, where they can keep up the manual labor that's necessary to keep society going and only the higher case can enjoy the natural beauties. John becomes aghast at the rampant drug use um, the prescribed medication like uh, his mother Linda is back on um, and also the Halloween like parties that take place at the hospital for the dead and dying where children are required to watch a last person's breath um, before they pull the trigger to cremate one corpse apiece um, after which they enjoy chocolate eclairs and then graduate the death appreciation classes. Um, he doesn't like those at all. John is also morally outraged at the mandatory erotic play sessions for high school level students uh, before they are allowed to graduate and the high holy orgy ceremonies that adults are expected to participate in in the brave new world if they want um, job advancements or even just to be considered decent citizens of society. Near the end of the tour, um, John goes green in the face from the day's information and actually blows chunks uh, in front of the media which is footage that needs to be cut. Um, here's John spewing uh, his lunch out near the bottom of the piece. Bernard is pointing up towards civilization, um, kind of represented here at the top of the iceberg, which is symbolism that we'll talk about in the 11th painting later on. Um, there's a quote from the 1990 movie adaptation of the book, which I'm not a fan of uh, whatsoever, but but there there is there are a few good things from that version. Um, one of which is a line where John says to Bernard, "It's nice to know that a person born in a bottle can still have a soul," and that line actually kind of made me want to put this particular symbolism of the test tube in the middle of the tour of civilization number seven painting. <clears throat> One
Whale and ocean life skeletons abound in the sea here, um, representing their extinction by the year 2540. Test tubes, um, born babies, infants are, are kind of falling here and again into the sea, down into the ocean, um, all the way to the bottom here are test tubes strewn about. Um, most destined to become um, gammas or deltas or, or epsilons, um, destined to, to clean bathrooms or do some sort of other menial task as um, only about 10% or less of society gets to be born as alphas and betas, um, and the rest are gammas, deltas, and epsilons, per the iceberg reference we'll get into later. Um, meanwhile, the alphas, um, you know, even though the lower case, um, you know, they don't have the, the capacity to desire anything better for themselves, um, or, or the you know, the drive or the work ethic or whatever it is that, that makes an individual want to better themselves, even though it's tragic and that they aren't born with that, um, and it's, that, that's been actually scientifically bred out of them per um, the novel, you know, also alphas are forced to set their creativity aside and any um, desire to change the world in their vision must be, you know, put on the back burner so that they can um, serve the lower case and they're unable to do anything individualistic for themselves um, per the law of always having to serve universal happiness uh, their own selves, even, even at the very top. Um, very small down here, we have some conveyor belts. <coughs> this top one has some test tubes, as you can see going down. Um, the lower one has a set of twins that represent what the test tubes gradually become. We have a screen here in the middle of the painting, um, this orange one here, that represents Bokonovsky's process. Um, starts out with one gamma here at the top in green, then goes to two, then goes to four, then to eight gradually to 16. Um, I believe in the novel, Pugsley says it stops at 96 is the most that they're able to clone at the same time from one zygote in the year 2540. Um, down here we have an anti-tree symbol to represent the nature nausea reinforcement classes that are taking place so that the lower case will remain in the factories and, and you know, providing the basic needs for society. Um, DNA strands keep the picture flowing inwards. Here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one. Um, some symbolism I recycled from the second painting. Um, here we have some high schoolers, high schoolers lining up for their first erotic play sessions, um, which is mandatory for the state. Fully clothed, of course, um, but doing the hear no evil uh, see no evil, speak no evil routine um, to let you know they are going to sexual classes. Um, I made an effort to show any ethnicity can be born as any case. Um, as you can see, there the, by the various uniforms and the various skin tones, just to reiterate that by the year 2540 AD, um, we have equalized the numbers of all peoples of all ethnicities and racism has been solved. Um, yet again, this is no doubt the weirdest painting of the series so far, and maybe one of the weirdest ones of the entire series altogether. Um, you can see why when all these subject matters are thrown together in the same book at once in 1930s era, Depression era society, you can see why um, why the book would be banned and why it would be controversial and um, why it uh, is often asked to be made an exception of for certain students uh, born from conservative backgrounds, um, not just in England where it was written, but the United States and, and many other countries. It is required reading, but it's, it's often granted an exception. Um, for all the reasons I just gave.
Um, I'll voice an opinion here though and, and say if you're a grown adult over the age of 18 and you're in college or beyond and you can't handle reading a work of fiction without asking for special requests, you may not want to call yourself an adult. Just to put that out there. Um, thanks again so much for watching the seventh video on the seventh painting, Tour of Civilization, um, the explanation of Bokodovsky's process and the cloning of the twins. Stay tuned for video number eight, the erotic painting, um, Orgy Porgy, the love triangle of Lenina Crowell, dating and sex in the 26th century. Thanks so much.